Hey there guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you some more pickups. I was able to finally buy some stuff off of Yum Yum Toys. My buddies from the Netherlands toy hunting almost every week. They pick up everything from 80s, 90s, 70s toys to bootlegs, knockoffs. So they're into kind of the same stuff I'm into. It's always a delight checking out their Instagram page and seeing what they're up to. And they also make their own toys. But something caught my eye this time around on their Instagram and I was like, uh, maybe I just gotta place an order and that's what I did. The main reason I wanted to buy something off of them is because of this Hulk Mego figure which just looked too cool. I don't have any Mego stuff in the collection. And this guy was actually priced pretty okay. He's still in very nice condition. On the back of the head you can see a marking that indicates he's part of Marvel and right below the waist there, uh, there's a Mego thing so I had no clue what the quality was like on these figures held together by you know just some iron and some kind of like elastic bands or something inside but it's nice to own at least one of these um, just for you know some future uh, videos to have a referencing a referencing toy then over here we have a knockoff motu type of thing so this is a double-headed dragon which you can obviously place uh, a motu figure on this one is made in China I'm not sure if this is like cap Gemini or, or something like that and I recently picked up a blue three-headed dragon so I was like maybe just gonna get this one and pop him onto the Motu shelf Then he had some more stuff that was totally up my alley he had uh, one of these um, demons from Black Star this one is the light green variant I already have an orange one but I'm slowly very slowly uh, getting to a, a, a decent Black Star collection and he had a mad ball knockoff this one is made by engan yeah he's got you know an axe to the head with blood flowing out that tongue uh like the sculpting on on the feet over here and he makes weird sounds like this okay sounds like a doggy toy but hey it's a mad ball knockoff it's uh this account right here yum yum toys Bart and Vivi, yeah, they always go out hunting. They're really into gremlins as well. Definitely go check out their Instagram page and check out their, you know, custom made toys. They're really nicely done. Uh, they also threw in some extra gifts like uh, this Belloward uh, lion, which is part of like um, a, a Belgian, I think it's a Belgian uh, amusement park. And of course, Pogs. There couldn't be an Ed's Retro Geek Out video without Pogs being mentioned or Flippos. But one thing they knew I was very much into is turtles. So they actually threw in this awesome piece of merchandise, this school kit. So you got your pencil pouch, you got a ruler, a sharpener, and an eraser all with that lovely turtle uh, stuff on there. So this was really cool. Uh, very nice condition as well. Uh, I'm always into getting new turtle merchandise and just look at the artwork on that cover thing right here. Awesome. Amazing. Thanks Bart and Vivi for uh, sending all this stuff my way. I picked up a reaction figure by Super 7 and this is Milo of the Descendants. So he's like the mascot or uh, the logo of Descendants, which is like a pop punk band from the early 80s. They're still going right now. Uh, I love all of the records they put out. And um, he came with a bonus cup and his microphone. So, like, he's based on a singer. You've probably seen me with Descendants t shirts and, and hats and stuff. I'm really into that band. So, when they were putting out a Super 7 uh, Kenner inspired figure, I was like, yeah. I just gotta buy that. The proud, the few, descendants. Yeah. Then I'm maybe a little late to the Master of the Universe Origins line, but uh, I just have to pick up these two right here. We got Hordak and we got Skeletor. I don't know why everybody's like uh, annoyed by the head sculpt. Uh, it doesn't look too weird. And we got Hordak over here. There's still a couple more to have ordered, but uh, they haven't come in yet. I'll probably open these up anyways, just to check them out, uh, but not right now. Next up, we actually have a custom toy made by another Instagram account called Emo Adventures, which is an account I love. And uh, I was super excited to finally be able to get one of his art pieces, because 
this is just a freaking work of art turbo fork uh, he does most of uh, his his artwork for all of his customs and this is just amazing so you get this box along with uh, the pizza monster from you know one of my favorite cartoons in the series uh, the mutant alien from outer space as you can see over here and he's got more stuff coming out all the time so he's got the alien he's got the swamp thing and he has a ton more but you have to be quick because I, I think it only takes up commissions like every uh, like, like two, two or three times a year and uh, this is the pizza monster doesn't this just look like you imagined it would have been if playmates had put it out in the 90s oh, I freaking love this it looks huge compared to the other turtles and that's kind of like the thing you wanted so this is a I guess a raisin cast um, thing so it does work with magnets um, you can take most of these things off just like that but um yeah this is just an amazing figure i got a couple more still coming in and i can't wait to show you guys when i finally do because as far as just you know people making custom uh thorough figures i think this guy has, has just got everything down his work is super well done the sculpt thing just the whole finished product it's a work of art so um yeah definitely go and check them out so Varner Studios they have popped up some of that sketching art and they've been popping up so many prototypes on their Instagram and they were actually doing a sale of some printed sketches which is where I got most of this stuff from so Tanner and Michelle they sent some stuff along my way so we got this metalhead sketch uh, from Anaglyph Studio so Scott Hennessy Studio this is uh, one of the other sites then we have a classic Michelangelo, classic Raphael, classic Donatello. Oh, this one uh, I, I picked out. This is like Spider, Spider-Man Turtle. Love this thing. Uh, it always comes. Some of them actually come with some of those little side lines on there, which I thought was really cool. This one is one I definitely wanted. These are like the different expressions that most of the turtles make. So this is something I actually wanted to put um, up on my wall. I don't know where yet. And over here we got classic Leonardo. This is the cheapskate that they said, well, it didn't come out quite right. So we had some more prints your way but I actually really like it with these colors and lastly we got this one this is one of the auto mutations uh, Michelangelo if I'm not mistaken this just reminded me of like a part in the cartoon where Michelangelo dresses up as shredder <laughs> it just kind of looked like this as well but uh, it's an auto mutation so I was like yeah I'll, I'll get that one as well and yeah, of course I picked up more turtle stuff I actually picked up some more uh, Playmates uh, Toy Fair catalog. So this is the 95 Toy Fair catalog. I'm not going to show everything in here, but you got some Earthworm Jim. You have what else is in here? Obviously Turtles. I also got the 94 catalog, and uh, I'm always looking to buy more of these um, because <laughs> because this is you know the toy history that I, I I love to talk about and stuff. It was because this is you know that. Yeah, toy history stuff I, I love talking about. Over here are some of those tournament fighters or Kung Fu Turtles. And you can always, you know, see the prototype in the pictures here and then, you know, compare it to the way they were actually released. When these came in, I was like, whoa, this is freaking amazing. So, um, yeah, if you have any more, if, if anybody has some that they want to get rid of, uh, I, I'm definitely in the market for more of these. Uh, now, it wouldn't be an Ed's Retro Geek Out pickup video without any Boglins. So, actually, my girlfriend this time around, she was like, hey, there's somebody selling some Boglins. Do you want these? And uh, it, it, it was a very good price. I think I paid something around 40 for all these, so 10 apiece. Um, actually got some of these semi big boglins so i got this dude right here got another purple one i always think i have this one but then it ends up being our face sculpt and uh 
a greenish one or, or yellow or whatever. He looks really happy, this guy. And then obviously we have a, and then obviously we have a blob in the case. Now this was not on the initial listing, but uh, the girl who we were buying it off of, she was like, I still have one of the big ones in the case. I, I didn't know if I wanted to get rid of it. And uh, in the end, she did, and uh, it, it, it was a really good price. So, yeah, more Boglins added to the collection. I am pretty lucky with finding Boglins, but uh, it's good because I, I love all of them. I'll, I'll, I'll keep them all close to heart. Then, the final thing in this pickup video is something that my UK toy hunting colleagues are usually talking about, and it's Manta Force. Now, the way I always saw Manta Force was as... A Mighty Max type of thing. So, you know, he had uh, a playset wise. You had little dudes, little vehicles, and you could play around in it. So, when I initially envisioned that I was going to get in the mail was something like a Mighty Max playset. Also made by Blue Bird Toys. But this is the thing that came in the mail Manta Force. Mighty Max. Manta Force. Mighty Max. This thing is freaking huge. Maybe if I knew this was going to be this huge, I, I wouldn't have bought it, because uh, I don't have room for it. But uh, anyways, I got it now, and it's, it's pretty epic. I think if I would have had this one as a kid, I would have probably played with it so much. Uh, so they come with these little guys in all sorts of colors. Everything opens up as well, so. Um, let's try and opening up this spaceship right here. So, oh, I already dropped something. Just a missile, but it's okay. Like this. This can open up, so... Whoa. So that thing can open up, so this spaceship can come loose. You can fly around with this one, or you can pop it on over here. And on the inside, you can see... There's room for lots of vehicles. Now, this one was not complete. This one was only eight shipping. So I was like, yeah, it's it's, it's fine. I just want, you know, a sample of, of a Man of Force thing. Um, but so cool. Um, you got these little vehicles that you can place your figures in. Um, everything has, has its own neat little place when it's complete. But uh, obviously this one is not. I am going to be on the lookout for more of this stuff because I think it's really inventive the way they did this. And this was uh, done, I think, at the end of the 80s, something like that. So very impressed with, with this one, actually. This is such a cool spaceship. Oh, man. Let me know down in the comments below if you had any Man of Force stuff. I definitely know that if one of my buddies had this, we would have been playing with this all the time. So, yeah. Leave it down in the comments below what you guys picked up this week. So, yeah, guys. That was it for this video. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more 80s and 90s videos. I put out a series called Toy History, which I'm going to be focusing on. Thanks to everybody on Patreon for sticking around. And uh, I hope to talk to all of you guys soon. If you picked up something this week please leave them down in the comments below and let me know what you thought was the coolest thing i picked up in this video and as always thanks so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one see you later guys bye